Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? And yes, as you might notice, we're back. I have no idea what was wrong and I still have no idea how it got fixed. But when something is working, never ask questions. The other issue is that this is going to be a slightly derpy episode because I have no idea where we left off and I have no idea what I was doing. The only thing that I noticed is that when I locked in, my diamond armor was on the ground and we were wearing refined obsidian armor. And apparently I was crafting. Huh. Anyways, we have our applied energistic system with limited storage and limited CPUs. And behind the terminal, we have a space for our garbage automations. We are pulverizing certus quartz crystals. We're mixing it with sand so we get two seeds. We grow it again into crystals and rinse and repeat. So we are duping certus quartz. This garbage interface is for making fluix crystals. You know, there is a water source under the open crate. We drop everything, we get fluix. And these are the processors. Uh, there is supposed to be redstone and silicon inside. The botany pots needs to be fixed because uh, you get these and you can't void them. Also, we do have our mechanism gizmos and thermal expansion. What am I crafting? Indirium. Okay, everything for the moment is being powered by some lapidary dynamos and we have some diamond chickens. And talking about chickens, I have already automated everything. We are compacting the nuggets, like so. I don't like compacting drawers. I use crafters. I'm sorry. And the drawer controllers are entangled to an entangled block and we should have storage buses. Yep, exactly. Oh, and by the way, the controller is here. I have also been a relatively good person and I have been setting up a ton of patterns. And I really mean a ton. So what is the plan? Well, I'm assuming our first order of business is to start making the energy condenser, at least the Mark 1. And to be honest with you, Mark 2 is relatively cheap. And in this mod pack, apparently we have to do this using power. So let me set up some patterns. And by some, I mean a lot. Automating power with Applied Energistics is going to be a piece of cake because I think the author of Applied Energistics 2 is also now working on power. So they're fully compatible. Basically, what we need to do is that we're going to have a pattern for blaze mesh. You need to have one of the items in order to make the pattern for some reason. So let us get one block of blazing crystals manually, then we will set the pattern, which is going to take ages. Well, at least in the meantime, maybe we would be able to upgrade these guys. They are reinforced. So can we have 20 of the resonance? Maybe? Yep. Machines are not fully upgraded, so it's gonna take ages. Come on. You can do this. Very good. So a pattern for a block of blazing crystals. We are going to set the pattern provider to blocking mode. And basically that's it. We can order 10 blocks. You cannot order 10 blocks if you don't put it on blocking mode, which I just literally mentioned. Yeah, now it works. Considering the fact that we don't have any access to nether stars, let me go as high as spirited and I'll be right back. The worst part of power is the process of upgrading the energizing rods and well, it's a very tedious process. But since resources are not a big deal in this mod pack, maybe we can be wasteful? Oh my goodness, yeah, this is much better. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why the hell you can't see the extraction, is because I have entangled the energizing orbs to some entangled blocks. I don't want to see the piping, so what I'm doing is that I have a few entangled blocks going into an ME interface. But in any case, our first spirited crystal. And now we should be able to make 10 spirited energizing rods. That's gonna make everything so much faster. Oh, and yeah, if we upgrade the dynamos, we're still consuming too much power. Well, we have 9.6 thousand RF per tick at maximum, so... It's not the best. I guess the wisest decision is to start making some reactors from power as well, because these guys are never going to keep up. And yes, we have uranium. Good. I guess the first thing which is going to make our lives so much easier is going to be the energy condenser Mark 1. It's not great, but it's also not the worst. Uh, we don't really need to have a pattern for it because it does have EMC, meaning that we just need to make two, then we can dupe it. And as you guys remember, we already have a ton of this Eternalis fuel, so making matters is not going to be a problem for the moment. Uh, so what do we need? Two dark matters, two red matters, for some reason a dirt chest, two crystal chests, and then the alchemical chest itself. Uh -oh. How would you get ancient debris? Ah, combiner with basalt. Well, I have basalt. It is not the correct basalt, but we can fix it. A crusher? Yep. You know, my machines are the worst. Everything needs a stupid upgrade. I just wanted to start auto crafting and I didn't have power, so what can you do? Except the crusher. Crushers are good. After a crazy amount of crafting, here is a combiner. We just need to use it a few times, so I'm not really picky. And voila, ancient debris. Hey, you look weird. I think the best yield comes from an enrichment factory. It gives us two. 
Remember, we want the scrap. Oh, we also need the <laughs> covalence dusts. And I think somebody in the FTP team really loves power because everything is done with power. We are also not going to automate the covalence dusts because they also have EMC. So what's the point? So here is low covalence dust, medium covalence dust, and finally high covalence dust. I'm making three of them because we need one of each in order to make the alchemical chest and we need one in order to dupe. Anywho, diamond lattice, finally. And what the heck is amethyst bronze? Oh, amethyst copper. Also, I'm walking very slow. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, so bronze, amethyst, and that hopefully is not going to give us that many garbage. Yeah, rose gold. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm just going to break you and we're going to reset everything. I should start making a remote because I have no idea where is my cast. Ah, okay, here. After we sort out power, we need a wireless terminal. If I have not messed up anything here or one alchemical chest. Ah, it was in my inventory. My bad. So alchemical chest, crystal chest, dirt chest. Red matter, dark matter. We shall have two energy condensers, mark one. I think in this mod pack, netherite, yeah, it has EMC. We can use it as currency. The first energy condenser is ready. That is great. And the second one should be, yeah, it's also ready. Uh, we give you some netherite and we start copying the energy condenser. Not that many. <laughs> and then if we want to have energy condenser mark two, how hard is it going to be? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not the best. I mean, honestly speaking, there is nothing so complicated about it. We just need to do all of these recipes once and then just dupe them. It's just that I wish I would have made an extra alchemical chest, which I see no reason why not. We have extra ingots. You don't have EMC. Oh, you do. Okay. So give me a bunch, I guess. Thank you. A bunch of netherite scrap, just in case. Some diamond lattices, which I just realized I messed it up. So give me more. And some covalence dust. Oh, awesome. This is just a crazy rabbit hole. Well, I guess let me get everything, then I'll be right back. I take it back. It was not a crazy rabbit hole, but well, I had to do some manual crafting. But I guess we are going to need one antimatter relay, one collector, one red matter block. And for some reason, I just realized uh, we are not producing any cobblestone. It has EMC, so who cares? Anyways, compacting drawer, dark matter block, and energy condenser mark one. And that should be energy condenser mark two. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's going to be very slow, but we just need the one. We don't care. Very good. It's ready. And ladies and gentlemen, energy condenser mark two. We just dupe a bunch. Actually, as much as we can, it's not that expensive. And just out of curiosity, neutronium, yeah, it does not have EMC. We are at a relatively good place. We have automated power. We have EMC. But the only issue that we have is that our power situation is really not the best. We need to get a few reactors. I have already set up the patterns. We cannot go with nitro or can we? You know, if you just need one nether star, we just get that one nether star. Uh, we had a wither killing hole. Here, a wise person would have brought a torch, but I'm not the brightest. At least I have a sword. Very necessary. We go. Almost there. Yep. I mean, if you are trying to make some reactors, you might as well try to make the best ones. What's the point of making the garbage ones and then upgrading it? And we also got cobblestone. Uh, so energy condenser mark two. I don't have that many uses for netherite, so we might as well use that. And we just dupe some nether stars. Holy, I didn't mean that much. So recipes for nitro, that should be the recipe. Yeah, correct. And I just have to set the patterns and then upgrade everything to nitro. You guys know the deal. I do admit it's not the worst. The process of making the reactors is going to be incredibly easy because everything is on auto crafting and therefore uh, I just have to order stuff and wait for a tremendous amount of time. So before I start making a very long cut, one of the things that we are going to need in order to set up a reactor from power is going to be ice. If you have a pure daisy and you put water next to it, you're going to get snow. There are easier ways of doing that too using thermal expansion, but we have Botania, so why not use it? That would be one of the reasons it's taking a bit. Very good, snow block. We shall drop one of them into the mana pool with an alchemy catalyst. Thank you, and voila, we have ice. Can we get a bunch? <laughs> Stop duping it, you stupid idiot. We just want a bit of blue ice, that's it. Yeah, dupe this one. Is there any merit of converting it into dry ice? I mean, it's cheap, it's fast. Why the hell not? I do have a bit of a situation. Uh, first off, I do have good energizing rods, but I have no power to power it. Look, so we can craft everything incredibly fast. It's just that uh, we don't have the power to do that. And that is a huge problem. So I think we should start by having at least one reactor. 
Another problem that I have is that my CPUs are incredibly garbage. They're 4K, correct? That means I cannot make the nitro reactor from scratch. I have to make the blazing, then upgrade it. Another mistake that I have made and the reason that I cannot upgrade the CPUs is over here. I don't have a crafting cart for making silicon, so I cannot make crafting cart. Oh, I can. Okay. We did manage to make two. Yeah, finally. <laughs> okay. At least one of the CPUs is free. So can you make me a nitro reactor? Seems you can. We don't have the power for it, but it should work. And technically speaking, I should start removing the dynamos, but I like them where they are. So maybe we're going to have our reactors over here. Yeah, why not? We can make a mess. Then clean it up. You might notice that I'm using quantum entangler porters for transferring power, which is really good, but I want to switch to power. So we are going to have a few nitro ender cells. Maybe two? For now. They're cheap. The good thing about these guys is that you might notice they don't really have any buffer for power. That's not good, I know. But one thing that you can do is that you can add energy cells to them and they will gain more capacity. For the moment it was blazing so it's 40 million RF but you can add nitro and it's almost infinite. So that's what we're going to use instead of an induction matrix later on. Oh goody, we have four pieces of nitro reactor. 32 more to go. Each one of them is going to give us more or less half a million RF, so the moment that we get one of them, we should be good. And by good, I mean this process is going to be incredibly fast. Judging by the fact that everything in this mod pack is incredibly cheap and we just got our crystals, I would say this was the grindiest part of the mod pack. And by grindy, I just mean that it took a bit of time. That's it. But ladies and gentlemen, our first natural reactor. We shall give you water, some blue ice for the moment, uranite, redstone and coal and we turn the auto mode on so that we don't waste any fuel when the buffer gets full and it does give you 460,000 RF per tick. That's awesome. Holy, that thing is full. Well, it doesn't really have that much of a capacity, but still, it was good. You go there. And if I want to make 36 more nitro reactors, that should be decently fast. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's constant power now. One more thing that I have noticed is that 64k crafting storage used to be the maximum that you could make in applied energistics, but now there is a 256k. I literally ordered one 256 storage component and we're going to have a great CPU. From 4k, this is a huge improvement. Oh yeah, now you can see the nitro reactor, it's super fast. We have 16. We also finally have a far better CPU, so we remove that one and place you. It's also purple. I like purple. I mean, if you look at my control room, I guess it's not very hard to predict. But the main use that we have for the new CPU at this very moment is to get some nitro energy cells so that we can have a power buffer. I like this. Finally, we are making progress. The second nitro reactor is ready. We're going to have eight of them, I think. Obviously not by today, but hopefully very soon. Oh my goodness, you don't have any upgrades. Uh oh. I just realized one of the things that we're missing is Skystone and I have no idea how we used to get it. Oh, you watched Dust and Dust does not have EMC. That's fine. It's okay. We're not in a hurry. We did manage to make five nitro energy cells and let's see how much is their capacity. Two billion RF. Wow. This is going to be great. But in other news, we desperately need to have some Skystone in order to make the 256k ME storage component. It doesn't really have any other uses apart from making, I think, the controller. Yeah, that's it. I remember we used to do this with a hammer, which is no longer here. Which one was the input? Okay, this side was the input. And judging by the fact that we are extremely rich, maybe we should upgrade the hammer to netherite. This is diamond. And voila, netherite. So are you going to be like super crazy? Not really. Maybe we should get a bunch. Yes. Chances of getting skystone is not the best. I just washed three stacks of dust and we got four. I guess for the moment, four is good because I would be able to make one more CPU. I think. Anyways one more nitro reactor and after grabbing a cup of coffee another nitro reactor and I guess now it does make sense to start switching from quantum entangler porters to ender cells so you my dearest friend go to hell you as well we should also switch the one from the controller as soon as possible and when I designed this I did not think this through uh, there are different holes that we can get out but it's difficult it, there should be yeah I was going to say there should be one more over here and I guess that's it we're good. I have a bit of a question. How would you get a gas? The thing is, we have RF tools utility in this mod pack and I should be able to make an environmental controller. It's just that I'm missing the animals. Wolf should be easy. We just need a cocoon of caprice and then we're good to go. But for the gas, I have no idea. Let's pay a very small visit to the nether. Oh goody, I forgot how fun this used to be. 
walking 1000 blocks? There are so many ways that we can teleport, it's just that I want to have a train. That's it. But here's the problem, I don't remember seeing a single ghast. Maybe I'm wrong. Hello? Oh, I forgot. Uh oh, I see something on the map. Where are you? There's a white thing on the map. And we're gonna die. Yep. Do we have the back? Ah. Not very useful. Don't kill me for like 5 seconds. I hate those pigs. I am telling you. But that is perfectly fine. We can make new armor. Hopefully. I have the pants. And now that we have some power, maybe we would be able to speed upgrade a few of these things. And voila. Brand new armor. Well, you do more damage. Oh, come on, I'm stuck in a block. This is not fair. Fourth attempt. I keep glitching in a block. Oh, these are garbage food. Are they? I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to use the back command. I keep glitching. So we're going to walk 1000 blocks. Yeah, I think we're good. Which one is mine? Not that one. Is it this one? Nope. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I just want my bubbles. Yeah, the rest we can waste. Well, at least we know where to find the ancient debris. That's good. But the ghast is gone. Also, that really does it. From now on, we're breaking spawners. I have been killing a few mobs, I have been breaking some spawners, and yeah, it does seem we have a ghast. It's in the tunnel. I'm not your dog. Yes, there is a ghast. Do whatever you want. I just want a sample. Don't die. Yeah, that is perfectly fine by me. We shall have a new one. At least we know we can get ghasts. Don't know why I shot him. Well, they do spawn at random locations. It was fun, but we can have our environmental controller. In this version, you look weird. And slightly disproportionate. We also did manage to mine a few dimensional shards and thankfully it does have EMC. And yeah, we shall have flight. It's good because it makes building so much easier. Oh, we're at Y level minus one? Yeah, so I guess from minus 10 to Y level 10. Now we have flight. That is good. It does consume a fair bit of RF, so I'm not gonna lie to you. It's going to be expensive. Getting around is going to be much easier. If I also get a wolf and get a speed boost, it's going to be awesome. If this is the new version of Minecraft, is this also the new version of Ars Nouveau? What I want to know is that do we have the battle armor? Nope. It's okay, maybe next episode we're going to work towards the mecha suit, because, you know, we, we just die like a chicken. And the reactor is not expensive. At all. Fluorite has EMC. We get uranium from chickens, but it also has EMC. Also yellow cake. I have to check. Also polonium? No. Would have been nice. Also, just to clarify, the reason that I wanted to have flight was because of building. Uh, not that we really need that in a cave. But just before we wrap up today's episode, I think we should make a wireless terminal. I have you on auto crafting, but how do you make it? Ah. It has been a while since I last managed to log into this world, so yeah. I keep forgetting how I did things. You have to do so much crafting just to get a wireless crafting terminal. But I think we're good. Yeah, I was going to say how do we charge it, but thankfully we do have direwolf in our lives and we can have a charging station. Maybe also some wireless boosters so that we can have a decent range. And I think we have, yeah, we have plenty of channels here. So security terminal, access point, wireless dude goes there. And yes, finally, we can slowly charge it. So without the wireless boosters, uh, the range is garbage. You see? <laughs> That's it. Now it's fine. Range is 92 blocks. Very cool. Everything works. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.